Hello everyone and welcome back for some more new world content here on my channel, The Box and Docs. And if you guys have liked what I've been able to bring you so far, please uh, consider subscribing and liking this video. If not, let's move on. So this week we're going to be getting into the realm of speculation. So we're going to be looking at some photos and some other things I haven't been able to dive into the, on these videos that I want to talk about, my thoughts about, and what could they could possibly be. So let's take a look at our first one here, and here we go. So first let's look at this little hit hidden treasure of a gem that they tweeted out a while ago so what i'm looking at right now is a picture of a wrecked viking longship and it looks like a ship graveyard so one they're teasing us goddamn vikings which would be super cool to see like some viking style armor or viking style enemies later on really cool but and here's the thing i know i know sir medieval did a video on this before so you see the Viking longship right behind it, behind the pu the pulley rope. There's a ship that looks eerily familiar to a Chinese style sea ship. It's very hard to see, but you can see it right behind the head, the the uh, not mast, the yeah the, the the head of the ship. So that's also teasing some Chinese possibly because we because we are not the first ones here on Eternum. There are many people before us that wrecked here, but. Have they, they survive? What happened to them? So this will be a cool. This is a cool because they could bring some cool either Chinese old Chinese armor sets in, some Viking gear, some Viking enemies, Chinese enemies. They already um, teased in their trailer uh, Romans, so that'd be cool. And it, that'd be cool. Even get ancient Greeks. Maybe Greeks came here. Maybe there's like um, this is where all their myths came from. So maybe that could be open up a lot more enemies for us. I mean, the Dryads are a uh, 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 Greek myth. So why not a Minotaur? You know, I mean, that'd be cool. I mean, if, if, if a tournament Azoth is corrupting all these creatures and make them into other things, that could make a lot of sense, right? And also you see the, the it looks like a Spanish or English galleon. I can't quite tell. I'm not that good on the, that kind of naval stuff. But I'm very excited for, one, possible Vikings confirmed. Well, can't technically confirmed. And then it looks like a Chinese ship. I'm not sure. We'll have to look in, in depth, more in depth later on keep out an eye out next now here we have something a little bit controversial we have the steel book with no cd which yes i did order <clears throat> but it also comes with this map now if we look at this map behind it and i think i have a better photo here too i'll pop that up if i do have it you see a tournament what they sh will show us on our player map in the game but you notice it's actually attached to a larger continent it looks like behind it so that could be a possible room for expansion future expansions more enemies more more creatures it's really simple but i mean it just it just adds that more possibilities to go into the future for this game so hopefully they have some plans ahead for that they say they have a i think a year plan is what they put out but yeah with, with i if you look at a different map this top section of the revealed zone is, is like a lava area where the corrupted kind of hide out i believe uh, not part of the, the alpha, which I was. Oh well. Beta is soon enough. Beta is soon enough, everybody. But yes, you can see where they have definitely room to expand on this map. So it's kind of like how the other other side of uh, Azeroth ruled or Warcraft. But we'll have to wait see what happens. It's going to be far, a long time away. And I'm hoping they do something with this a lot more. Next! Now here we have some artwork for what I brought up in my weapons video is the Azoth Gauntlet. So this was something that was supposed to, was teased in another photo. I'll put that up as well. But the Azoth Gauntlet was supposed to be this magic thing for it was it was a base, it's a basically a, a metal glove. Actually look at the the um the artwork. Metal glove with a ball which it probably had is felt in, in infused or in you know mixed up with as a certain kind of Azoth to let you do magic powers. This has not been seen in any gameplay, I don't believe yet. Not sure, but I'm gonna I'm keeping a close eye out for it. And they did kind of show it in this that picture, so hopefully they bring this in. We'll see. I'm not totally sure, but I'm hoping for this because it'd be a cool weapon, not to just have a staff for for your magic users. It'd be a lot it'd open up a little bit more variety, a little more difference. Maybe they do some more um, attacking, you know, more physical attacks than like. I don't know. We'll see. It'll be cool. It'll, it'll be cool. It'd be cool if you could actually take these, combine them with a, another weapon. 
like a sword, and it adds a little more power to it. Although you can infuse your other your normal weapons with Azoth, so this is all speculation, people. I, I don't know. Don't, don't don't ask me. Next, next. So this one's pretty straightforward. This is a character, the character at the end of the New World cinematic trailer. We believe her name is called Isabella because that amulet she has on her chest you can get as a pre-order called Isabella's Amulet. So I'm guessing she's going to be a major player, hopefully, in the corrupted storyline. Um, yeah, I, I can't wait to see what she, how, what, how, what her story is to play out with this. I'm a big fan of the lore, so this will be a really cool thing to see. Um, this is a quick one, but yes, we, from what we know, this character should be named Isabella because of that amulet. And it's in the pre-order, so... Spoilers? Not really. But yeah, so this will be cool. So without further ado, next! Now this is something that the developer team tweeted out a little while ago, I believe. Um, it's just a little story. So this bay will be... Is this a note? It's saying this bay will be perfect. A, break, a breakwater already built. Plenty of stone and wood from homes. And as much land as you could want for farms. I've been surveying the lands nearby with my spyglass and believe we have found the perfect place to establish our homes. Our ship may have been tossed in the rocks, but most of our supplies were intact. The stone faces have been disturbing some of the men, but not me. I see them as faces of those who were successful in taming this land. Who were unsuccessful in taming this land. Sorry, it's, it's small on my screen. In taming this land, a record that we will wash away with our achievements. So obviously this is just um, availing to people who have come before us and people who are possibly here now who have settled in this place and that they found these structures of the ancients. So that's that one. That's not very deep. But it talks about those those faces we always were seeing in the cinematic, on the land, everywhere. Now this next one is written by AA so hopefully we figure out who AA is that'd be really cool <clears throat> marvelous this old fountain is no longer active but its design is an enigma there are clear signs that this was once used to dispense water the stone that composes the spout is eroded in the in a pattern that suggests water flowed through it and into the basin but the fountain itself does not seem to be connected to any aqueduct or under or water source of any kind. So, this is a little bit interesting. So, I believe there are going to be these Azoth gathering spots that we could use. I believe these are these faces are all Azoth gathering spots of of the ancients. It, and it, it, it's you know what I mean, and maybe that's the water thing of it. It was, it's, a, it's actually a liquid. It's not just like an energy source. It's actually a liquid that contains energy. But that would be cool. So here's, there's a couple more photos to go with these ones. I'll put them up on the screen. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm guessing these are going to be the Azoth gathering spots. And these are going to probably hold some cool secrets. And I'm hoping to learn more about this. And this is a cool part of the lore. Again, I'm a big lore guy. I want to see the lore. I want to know what the lore is about. I want to dive in and figure out what, the, what happened to these people. Where are they now? They were so powerful, f powerful before they built these huge, amazing statues. But where are they now? So yeah. Without further ado, next. Now this photo kind of goes with the last ones uh, of the stories because in the fountain stories because it looks like to be either a guardian or an ancient themselves, which were supposed to be gone. So I'm guessing it's going to be a guardian. They're in very elegant golden armor and uh, holding a staff with that. You see the photo, but it, this alludes to someone still knows what happened to the guardian so we can go find out what happened learn their secrets learn how they controlled the azoth and what actually took them down was it the corrupted was it another thing we don't know but it would be cool to find out so hopefully we'll find out more about this photo when we get to play and maybe the elf guys already know i'm jealous next those la so this last one's a personal favorite of mine, and that's why it's in here. Not, no other reason. Other than look at these gators, or crocodiles. Actually, if, it, if it's supposed to be after North America, it'd be gators, right? But yeah, but look at these dinosaurs. They're huge. I, I can't wait to freaking fight these guys and find them and look for them, because I'm definitely going to be looking for these guys, and we're going to chop their heads off, take their skins, get something cool, something cool from my hope. But I mean, 
Dinosaurs, confirmed. This is like the bear. Yay for the bear, yay for the dinosaurs. Or the giant crocodiles. I'm guessing these guys have been corrupted by either the uh, the corruption or Azoth of some sort. And I can't wait to see what more what other creatures are in this land that time kind of forgot. And it's going to be really cool. So hopefully we get we get more creatures like this. And I, I, I just can't wait. This is my personal favorite right here. So everybody, I think that's it for this video. We've dived into a lot of things today. Um, everything I, I think I found that's very interesting, at least to me. Is there anything you guys have found? Link it down below in the comments. Let me, let me see it. Tell me why you think it's interesting. I want to know what you guys think of this game, like from what they've shown us so far. Alpha testers, let me know, please. I know you have NDA, but the NDA lifts pretty soon. We got beta right around the corner, the 23rd. And I'm hoping I'm off that day. But the way it works is, well, it'll, it'll be weird. But I do plan on streaming open, the opening of the beta if it is NDA open. Until then, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a fun here speculating with me. What are your speculations about the game? Um, get, if you guys really did like this content, like what I do, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, for, be notified when I uh, put out another video. Every Saturday it seems to be the schedule. And go follow me over on Twitch so we can talk about this live on stream. And you can be with me live on stream. So, hope you guys, until next time, guys, keep fighting. Bye!